So the first time I came to the building and I remember walking in here one day and just being struck by the grandeur of the building and every time I come in here I still have that sense of kind of awe and wow. So we're here this week at the Royal Exhibition Building in effect digitising the building. What we're doing with SciArc here is helping us to accurately record the fabric of the building where we'll be making some changes to it so that we have that record of what the site's like at the moment for posterity. From a conservation point of view, it'll give us the most accurate data of the site that we've ever had. SciArc is a nonprofit based in Oakland, California that documents archives and shares the world's cultural heritage. We're using a trio of technologies to document this very large structure. We're using LiDAR or laser scanning. We're using terrestrial photogrammetry. In addition, we're using drone photography to capture areas that are inaccessible from the ground. Iron Mountain Services adds a lot of legitimacy to what we do at SciArc. We are first and foremost an archive for cultural heritage, and by working with an industry leader like Iron Mountain, we know that data is safe and secure for perpetuity. So the Living Legacy Initiative is Iron Mountain's commitment to preserve and, and maintain historical information and, and, and artefacts. And so the Royal Exhibition Building um, is the first uh, really partnership between Iron Mountain and SIAC in this particular region. You know, the great thing about this partnership is SIAC have the expertise to be able to digitally remaster that building. So should something um, happen to it, Iron Mountain then have that data and we will be able to protect it and store it so that if something happens we'd be able to recreate that particular piece of architecture. What excites me about the project with SIARC is that from an interpretive point of view we're really looking forward to using the scan data and the photogrammetry to look at creating AR and VR so that visitors can come in and experience the grandeur of the space even if they can't physically visit. This building's always been a site for the use of new technology and innovation, and this project is continuing that tradition. So I love that mix of combining new technology with a historic site.